Hello, this is My Mobile Learning Tips, a video podcast series that is meant to help students and teachers make use of mobile technology both in the classroom and on the go. My name is Andreas Hofer and in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a collaborative vocabulary trainer. Learning vocabulary or flashcards on a mobile phone makes a lot of sense. You don't need a 30-inch display for one word at a time and it's much more convenient to sit on the couch than in front of a computer. Plus, you can use your mobile vocab trainer anywhere, on the bus or on the train, while waiting at the doctors, etc. The first step is to find and install a vocab or flashcard trainer from the market or app store. There are plenty of free apps to choose from. I'm going to install vocab trainer for GDocs, which I can do directly from my PC via push technology by choosing the app and the device on which I would like to have it installed. The next step is to import lists of words into the vocab trainer. Most apps can import from the CSV format, which you can create with Microsoft Excel for example. As this is meant to be a collaborative effort, it has several students working on one file, it's best to use a cloud solution such as Google Spreadsheets. And here is how it works. In Google Docs, create a new spreadsheet and give it a title. I want to create car-related vocab for English and German. In Google Spreadsheets, all you need to do is type in the vocab like wiper and Scheibenwischer and so on. In order to allow other students to collaborate on the spreadsheet, you have to share it using the button at the top. The safest option is to share it via the link and send the link to the other students who are meant to collaborate on the vocabulary list. Once they have received the link, they are also able to contribute to the vocabulary list. In order to study the vocabulary on your mobile phone, you need to start the app and then log in with your Google credentials. When you tap on Import, you can see all your Google spreadsheets and the ones that have been shared with you in reverse chronological order. You import the vocab list by tapping on the corresponding spreadsheet and then you are ready to go. You can also configure text-to-speech output for the vocabulary list. Choose the source and target languages and the speaker symbol will appear underneath the words next time you start the trainer. If you don't want to or can't use vocabulary trainer for GDocs, it's still possible to use the same vocab list from Google Docs. All you need to do is publish the list as a web page and choose CSV as an output format. Then you need to send the link to your phone and download the CSV file, which can then be imported to a vocab train. Yeah. In case you don't like Google Docs, there are other Web 2.0 applications which allow you to create vocab such as Quizlet or StudyStack. In order to use the vocab on your phone, you need to make sure that you use a vocab trainer that can import lists from these web services. You can also import vocabulary which other users have created and published. This is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it.